Tonight, we have a warning for parents about a growing crime targeting children. From toddlers to teenagers, hundreds of thousands of kids are now affected, and many of their parents don't even know about it. Investigative reporter Bob Siegel shows you the young victims here in Indiana and what you can do right now to keep your children safe. This is Adam Bracken. Just looking at this home video, it's hard to imagine anyone stealing from a baby. Harder still to think the crime could continue for more than a decade. But that's exactly what's happened to Adam. It feels like uh, I'm not even Adam anymore. Adam and his mom didn't know anything was wrong until they got a phone call asking why Adam had not reported his income from working at a factory. And I said, well, that's impossible. Adam's in school today. and He's only in fourth grade. You've never worked at a factory? No. Ever? Mm -mm. When we checked Adam's social security number, we discovered it's been taken over by someone else. Records show it's Marco Lopez, a 38-year-old man who's been using Adam's social security number since Adam was just a baby. Lopez has used Adam's personal information to rent homes and apartments, to get jobs, to title eight different cars, and to run up thousands of dollars in unpaid bills. Here's the wrong box! In addition to playing games and sports like his buddies, Adam has spent years dealing with consequences of child identity theft. It just kind of scares me because it might affect my future. This is a crime. It's illegal. It's stealing. It's, he, he has stolen from us. Adam is not alone. Identity theft happened to me, too. Axton Betts was just a young girl when someone stole her social security number. I was in fifth grade. I was 11 years old. I had no idea anything was wrong. Axton figured it out when she got to college, and she started getting court summons and lawsuits from collection agencies. They claimed she had run up huge credit card bills when she was 13. I was sick to my stomach. She's still paying the price, even at age 30. Just to buy this used car, Axton is paying an interest rate of more than 18%. That's the only loan she could get because someone else stole her identity and trashed her credit. It's been almost 20 years. I still get collection calls to this day. Axton and Adam have plenty of company. Recent studies suggest here in the U.S., child identity theft affects 140,000 children every year. Children are being targeted because their credit history is non-existent. That makes them very attractive to organized crime and other thieves. Officials at the Federal Trade Commission say child identity theft has only gotten worse since Eyewitness News first helped expose the problem several years ago. Child identity theft really is a hidden crime. In many instances, parents would have no idea and no reason to suspect that their child has been a victim until many years later. That's why you should take action now. Thank you for calling TransUnion. This is the FTC recommends you contact a credit bureau to see if your child has a credit file. Kids should not have credit files because, well, they can't get credit. So if a file does exist, it's a sign of trouble. Trouble that should be caught sooner than later. Before a child reaches the age of 16, Parents definitely should see if there is a credit file on their children. So how do you check your kid's credit file? Well, let me walk you through it. The nation's three major credit bureaus are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. All of them offer what's called a minor credit file check. You just go online, fill out a form, send in your information, and the credit bureaus do the rest. It's easy, it's fast, and best of all, it's free. We'll respond to you very quickly. Um, if we find a file in your child's name, and then we'll provide you with the next steps. Steve Katz is a consumer affairs director at TransUnion. He says if your child does have a credit file, like Adam, catching it early is important. We have the ability to go in there and clean up that file so that in the future those negative items will not impact the, the child. While the credit bureaus can help make things right, it's very tough to catch the people who've done wrong. We don't know to this day who stole our identity. Axton doesn't know, and tracking down the man who stole Adam's identity has also been quite a challenge. All over town, 13 Investigates has checked out apartments and homes linked to Marco Lopez. This is where he's supposed to be. At his most recent address, someone's home, but they did not want to talk. Marco, if you're in there, I'd like to talk to you. While we continue to search for Marco, the Brackens continue to search for answers 
trying to understand how someone took control of Adam's identity. It's happening right now. It's scary and it's hurtful. I don't want any other children violated from this. Before you give out your child's social security number to anyone, ask if it's truly necessary. The Federal Trade Commission says schools, doctor's offices, sports programs, they really shouldn't be asking for your kids' social security numbers at all. Now, a moment ago, we talked about getting a free credit file check on your kids. If you're interested in that, we've got detailed instructions and uh, information for all the credit bureaus exactly where to go at WTHR.com. I'm Bob Siegel, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.